flirting with the boundary line. Houston kept it in play. Dockers have some numbers. Fife gets an opportunity. The snap at goal from Nat Fife is there. The instant impacts it confused and then not going for the footy as Schultz now sends it up to Fife who marks on the 50. Nat Fife, been watching him closely at one end, Charlie Dixon at the other, but he's moving like a forward. If Freo fans want to see what this year's going to look like, they'd be impressed with his first 15 minutes from Nat Fife. He's been up, he's been back, he's been deep, uh, but he's been that link player as well. He's got a bit of the footy, he's kicked that goal. I mean, pe people forget, I don't know if they do forget, two Brownlow medals, he's a quality player and uh, looking really dangerous for the Freo Dockers. Found a way to get it across to Tracy, then wobbles one. Fife could get out the back here. And he's on the burst and on the charge, opposed to Jonas. The check side worked earlier, and it works again. Limited opportunities, but maximum impact for Nat Fife. Burn Jones for Lyson. Has to hit the turf. The call to play on. Fife just breaks through, but don't argue. And he hooks another goal. Well, he didn't give up on the play, Nat Fife. And he's kicked three. Just to make sure Schultz... Turns it over, that'll be 50, no, called play on for Alir. I didn't think he'd stepped off, it's a chance for Fife and unselfishly shares it around and Tabana is Johnson. Kick. is able to take it and get the Dockers moving. Fife going back to the flight, Jonas couldn't kill it away and he might set up Tabana again on the run. He tries to dribble it through and he gets it done. Yeah. Strong is able to get it forward and the Dockers set ends up with Fife who's continuing to work hard towards the end. And it's turning into a very good return for Nat Fife, who's kicked a goal in the first three quarters.